everybody to my channel. Thank you for being here. Today is time to reveal my card kit for the month of August 2021. So here I show you the beautiful ribbon that came in my uh, kit club, club. And oh my gosh, this month is Sunday theme. Who doesn't love ice cream. I know I do. I love it. And all these yummy papers are just speaking to me a lot. So today, um, like every month, we have been trying to do a collab with the design team ladies so to give you a little bit of inspiration of how you can use all these wonderful goodies that come in our kit. This kit is jam-packed. You, you guys know this and uh, we are going to have so much fun creating with all of this goodness. It even has felt uh, details this month and little ice creams and of course the inspiration card for, to give you a head start and now the beautiful color, color palette. I really like this one. Envelopes because you always need, need them. Let's see all of our colors today. So we have all of our colors here. Let me check to give you the right names. So we have cherry, cranberry, no, cherry, um, strawberry, pool, ocean, kiwi, pixie, sunshine, sunshine and lemonade so we're gonna start with my projects as you know I always start or try to start with my planner so this is the die set that I use to cut out my planner sheets and today we are going to do a stencil awesome right I know I show you in one of my previous videos how to make a stencil with the uh, cookie the the gingerbread girl but today we're gonna do cherries. So I'm using the cherries that came in our kit, the two cherries that came uh, in the Die Hard Club, and the teeny weeny little ones are the ones that came in the um, uh, that come in the uh, sun. Uh, no, it's not Sunday. Banana split to stamp that it was uh, released a while ago. So I'm using packing tape and uh, manila, a manila folder. I'm just covering with uh, both sides of my manila folder with the packing tape, placing my dies. I want this to be the same size that um, my slim line, so that's why I'm using the, the base. So we have in total six cherries, so we're gonna die cut those, place and die cut those several times and trying to put them in different directions you know that way it doesn't matter if we use the card if we use the uh, bait the or stencil horizontal or vertical um, so that's why we're trying to I'm trying to place the cherries in different direction it's pretty easy to make a, a stencil and if you like to play with it which we are going to do play with the new uh, stencil paste uh, you can redo this or throw it away if it get messed up it's, it's just paper and packing tape I'm showing you one more time how I place them to make them all looking in different directions this is gonna be so pretty I sped up this video a little bit, uh, and but still it's going to be a, a little long because it's we're gonna make five projects from start to finish. So hope you like it and enjoy, and most of all learn something about it. Okay, now the fun part. 
we're gonna use our newly created uh, stencil. Last time I uh, used the uh, a paste to uh, on top of my cutting mat, and I kind of I didn't mess it up, but it was very hard to clean. So I'm using a glass mat that I have, so that way it's easier to clean. So I applied a uh, cherry. No, no, it's not cherry. It's a strawberry. Sorry. And on uh, a little, I smoosh a little bit of ink, and I'm applying just a little bit of my paste. Remember the amount that you make or taint, taint uh, of this paste. You cannot go uh, take it back to the container. It's going to it's going to contaminate it. So you better use it all. So go little by little. Don't make a lot. That way, nothing goes to waste. So you see, I'm applying. Oh, I got this spatula in the hardware store. It was on the painter's uh, section of the hardware store. It's it's pretty it's pretty nice to use it. See? Oh, another thing you need to notice is that we use cherry. And the color that my paste came out is nothing like cherry. So colors, because we're 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 uh, tenting another medium. So the colors are not going to be exactly the same. Okay, moving on. You need to clean all your supplies right after you use them. Clean everything very well, and you need to let it dry. I was impatient, so I took out my heat heat gun, and I start uh, drying it to make sure that it was completely dry. If you're patient enough, you can just leave it or do do your paste all in one sit and let it dry and go do something else and then come back. It needs to be very dry. Okay. I love you combining my stencils. I mean, we have the things, so let's just use the things. So now I'm applying um, a strawberry. Yes, a coat of strawberry with my sten my grid stencil. This stencil came out, it was one of the first, I think it came out with the Tulip, the uh, Wonderful Windmills class. I think it's still available. So you, you better take advantage of that one. It's it's a beautiful stencil. And this little three dot stencil, this one is from the Just Release um, uh, Circus class, Life's a Circus. If you don't have it, I mean, you can use whatever stencils you have. I just like to combine my stencils. And the color I'm using here, it's cranberry. making sure that my brushes are clean and there you go now I have previously alcohol uh, I color with alcohol markers um, these pieces I got them left over so I might just well use them <laughs> I think they're pretty <laughs> I really love coloring you guys know that uh, if I didn't film how I color these pieces but if there's enough interest I, c I could come with an example of how I color them. So I'm adding a three layer sundae because one scoop is not enough. <laughs> Am I right? It's so interesting. The color that the paste took, it's very neony. It was very interesting. Okay, I'm panning my banner here. <laughs> it has been so fun. And we're gonna place our insert right there. By this time, you guys are probably experts on adding flippies to your book. Because <laughs> I do it every time. I'm using these uh, bulldog clips. They're very handy to place my stuff on my planner. Keep the page open, the pages open. Okay, adding my magic tape. Nothing fancy, you know. You can use washi tape if you want. I don't trust washi tape. It's gorgeous, washi tape is gorgeous but it doesn't stick very well for me, so I prefer to use that tape. <laughs> I 
I took out my favorite alphabet stamp set and I am going to write the word August. I don't worry, I, I got my mistake before I stamp it. <laughs> So we're going to stamp it with, I think I used cranberry or strawberry, strawberry probably, on top of my cardstock card that I use for, it's a scrap of, um, doo -doo -doo -doo, it's a scrap of cherry. So I, like I always always tell you, make sure you clean your stuff before you put it away. That way you don't have to worry when you use it later. Okay, almost done. Find some double-sided tape. Oh, so to place to to glue the the ice cream on top of my page, I use uh, wet glue, just because I use the the medium the the paste. So um, sometimes the double-sided tape don't, does not like much texture and it, sometimes it doesn't adhere very well. So that's why I use uh, wet glue. But uh, the August is going on top of my colored image. So it's okay. It's okay to use the double-sided tape. And I made a boo-boo there, but anyways, <laughs> it's, it's done. <laughs> Okay, there we go. First project done. Second project, I'm gonna do another slim mic. Now I color this swirly, uh, kind of sorbet type of rainbow ice. I love it, so I'm going to use it. So we already make our uh, DIY stencil, so why not keep using it? So I'm applying now strawberry to make it my, to make my cherries. Uh, strawberry color and using my brush get it all done pretty 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 I'm gonna clean my stuff I'm using a little bit of hand sanitizer see it, it cleans perfectly even though it's just paper well it has a coat of shipping uh, tape but it's just paper now I'm taking guava guava out and I'm going to use another stencil let me check my collection oh I love those little flowers that's one of my favorite 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 stencils from the stamps of life now I did a little and I kind of skew the the stencil just to make sure that I was going to cover a little bit more of uh, surface surface you, you need to move it anyway so there we go like my little flowers on top of the cherries to create my background so pretty let's clean all of our, our stuff and now I'm taking this is that is candy so I'm just going to shade the edges with candy because it was still too white. <laughs> so I'm giving a, a little bit more of pink on it with candy. Now I'm starting, I start to apply my uh, ink from the glass to the paper so it does not get harsh lines. Clean everything because we don't want to mix colors. Okay, got our base card ready. And I'm deciding what to do. Okay, I decided I want to use that. It looks so gorgeous. I love that ice cream ice cream cone. It's more like a sorbet because it's rainbow. Trying to decide what else to use. But nope, it's gonna be like that. And we're gonna use the so cool. 
I cut it with um, it's um, uh, glitter paper. So I cut it in black, the thin letter letters. I should have used adhesive. I didn't, so I'm using my wet glue. Just be very patient. <laughs> if you're not patient, use the the adhesive sheets. It's so pretty, so thin, but it it reads so pretty. And that's gonna be it, I think. Oh no, nope, we're gonna make some splatters. So I'm splattering uh, with some silks there. I'm using white and black. Um, you can do it with a little gouache, which or a little diluted um, acrylic paint. It's just to add a little touch, a little thing. Now I'm applying black because we have the black lines of in our stamp set, in our stamp image. We have the black in our words, so we need a little bit of black in the background to connect everything, to have unity on our piece. Uh, and I think I'm going to add a little bit more of black. Yep, it needs to be sewn. So we're going to take it to my sewing machine. I'm just going to uh, put a little bit of adhesive in the center, that way it doesn't move. And I'm going to take it to my sewing machine. Oops, that wasn't quite dry. <laughs> Let all your mediums dry <laughs> before you... Yep. Okay, I'm going to take it to my sewing. I know I'm going to sew it. Okay, I'm going, I guess I'm going to add the pieces first. Mm. I just start. I just got the the foam uh, the uh, the foam <sighs> double sided adhesive that the Stamps of Life offer. It is awesome. I love it because when you die cut it with your dies, it does not lose its shape. It's incredible. So I really love it. There you go. I took it to my sewing machine because it needed some more black to tie the whole thing on. Now adding my sentiment. And this card is done. Next one. I'm going to use the newly released available in HSN Deckled Edge card base. I love this. It's so pretty. All the details and the most amazing things with the Stamps of Life is that all the card bases, I mean, you don't need to measure anything. Everything is meant to layer and, and you just have to put together all your all your goodies. It's, it's just, it takes it takes away all the the extra thinking <laughs> process. Okay. I told you we were going to use this stencil <laughs> until I get tired of it. <laughs> so we're adding a little more accent to our words, just extra cherries with uh, the strawberry ink. Hey, we already took all the trouble to make it, so we might just use it <laughs> until it breaks. <laughs> and it's going to last. I still have mine still good. Okay, so we add some cherries, clean everything. Sorry I'm showing you all the cleaning, but it's very important to clean your stuff. So we're going to layer, layer our cardstock pattern paper. And we're going to add this strip. This is exactly as long as it needs to be, but I, I, I move it a little, so <laughs> I'm going to use one of the ice creams from the, that came in the kit, the chipboard ice creams. I stamp my sentiment in another scrap of um, cherry cardstock, and I fishtail the ends, but it still looks a little bit lost. So we need to anchor somewhere. 
I'm taking all my little bits and pieces of the um, foam tape. Don't throw it away. The, you can still use those things. <laughs> you still have adhesive. So use it. Okay, I put my adhesive on just the top and the bottom because the uh, foam strip that the foam the um, felt strip that we put it has thickness so we just need to balance that thin thickness on the chipboard piece. I'm adding some highlights with my jelly roll pen. I love this pen. It it it's very useful in my craft room to add uh, shine and detail to my uh, pieces. Now because I'm using this with the chipboard, the chipboard has a very thin white edge so I needed a, to trim a little bit of my cherry just to make it cohesive. Now we're going to anchor, yep that green looks perfect, so we're going to cut a little bit to uh, put to make our little flag banner sentiment thing. Just leaving a little bit around the cherry color. Don't forget to make the fish tail at the end. And we're almost done. This one was fast to put, a, put together. Yep, all done. Next one. We're going to use the uh, word pop-up. Now this is not available at HSN at this time, but most of you already have it. And if you don't, I mean, you can make it. You can just take the idea and, and, and go with it and make with uh, other products that you already have. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. So I fussy, that little, little Sunday, it's, it comes from the pattern paper. Um, I fussy cut it because it's so cute. And, and I needed a little detail for the uh, to complement the, the wish big. This could be a birthday card. Ooh, birthday Sunday sounds good. Now I'm attaching to my flag. Okay, I did my sentiment. Now, for the inside, I used the sentiment that came in the card kit, but I want to... Um, I want to modify the way that it's um, uh, that it comes in the kit. Now you can do it two ways. You can cut your stamp directly, or you can stamp it and then cut. That is what that's what I did in this for this card. Okay, so I just cover the the back of the wish big that way it had a, a a background when when the card is closed. And you can still write in the inside and you won't see it. Okay, now I have a piece of plastic right in the bottom of the letters to not mess up the card base. And I'm going to try to mimic or to do a ombre effect. I started with a grape color and my card base is pixie. So I started with bubblegum, now I'm going to pixie with pixie and I'm going to uh, add a little bit darker color with uh, blueberry. I love how blueberry and grape, uh, how blueberry shades grape, that makes sense. <laughs> I love how those colors look together. So we have a little effect, a little ombre effect in our letters and I think it's gorgeous. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Okay, I'm adding more layers. See, that's why I don't add measurements because, I mean, you have all the pieces in the kit. You just have to layer them. <laughs> Cut them and layer them. Now I need to balance with some epoxy dots. And that's it for the front of our card. Now we're going to add my sentiment. I want it in two lines. So I'm going to add foam, a foam uh, 
bone, what's the name of this thing? Bone strip? <laughs> Double sided foam? Just in the two um, lines that go on top and just double sided tape in the ones that go in the bottom because those don't need to be raised up right yeah and that's it wasn't that pretty and it went fast okay next one this one is a surprise that's surp it has a surprise in the inside so but the outside needs to be pretty too so I have all my parts cut together oh see I found these banners this came in the screen you can use those if you don't want to uh, cut your uh, fish tails there are already dies for that so you just have to go and put your all your stuff together so I have a doily and the parts for the for the inside of my card so I'm just going to add adhesive on the little flappies in both sides nothing in the middle because that's the mechanism I'm adding enough glue that way I make sure that it's secure and that it's not going to come apart it has a mechanism so we need to make sure that it's very well attached now I'm going to fussy a little bit here to fold my card base and there you go make sure that it's very well pressed with my bone folder and now we're gonna layer you have your dies you just need to use them use your things we already bought them we bought them because we love them so we have to use them here we go I'm adding some glue you can use your double-sided adhesive I just forgot to use I always forget to use it I have it but I forget to use it I guess my glue is more, more my I don't know Okay, I'm adding the center part. Now, I chose to use the cherry in the, the cherry paper in the back, but that blue, that plaid blue that is in the back would be beautiful too. So that's the, like Stephanie said, that's the hardest part. Choose the paper because <laughs> everything is so pretty. Okay, adding the doily in the center. Now... I'm going to assemble my uh, Sunday, but first we're going to give it a little bit of detail. So I like to make this give uh, all the image some sparkle. The sparkle is fine. So I'm adding some stars and dots. Not too many because we don't need to overkill it. <laughs> Just in some parts. some in my ice cream scoop too and of course on my cherry I don't think I put uh, highlights on the little ones that goes in this inside I don't think I did but you could if you want so I'm putting double sided adhesive Now, to make sure that it's not going to come apart, put my the dish very, very at the bottom. It's okay if, if, if you uh, get out of the lines. <laughs> you don't need to stay inside the lines. Add the cherry on top. And now we're going to decorate the inside. Oh. Of course, we need to put some dots. Odd numbers are always good, but not necessary. <laughs> <clears throat> now, I fussy cut. I told you I fussy cut from the pattern paper. You can do that too. And because I can't add glue to this because it's going to glue shot, <laughs> so I'm using my little stapler. You can use a regular size stapler too. And I just staple my little flags and I'm going to glue the happy and birthday in each side. 
and it will still have room for you to write uh, your message to the person you send it to. You have it and great. Wasn't that fun? And it didn't take us it didn't take a long long time. I didn't call her in this one so it didn't take that long. So pretty. Okay, and that's it. That's the last one. Here's an overview of the five cards that I show you today. I hope that you like it. Please, um, like if you like this, uh, 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 hit the like button, the like button, and give me a, a, a subscription. Subscribe to my channel if you want to. Uh, be on top of everything that I post. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.